enough, 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 enough. Hello. Wait till we do something. Wait till we do something. Yes, hello everyone. Hello everyone here and across Australia, and welcome to Supernatural Sunday, the People's Day here at Homebush and uh, the International Broadcast Centre. And uh, it's the dream once again. If you haven't joined us before, glad to have your company. And uh, Supernatural Sunday, the People's Day, Roy. It has an interesting beginning, doesn't it? It does, AC. It goes all the way back to Antwerp uh, on that. Uh... <laughs> Second Sunday. Second Sunday. Of the games. Of the, of the games. HD, there would have been in excess of uh, 60, 62, 63,000 people in the main stadium in Antwerp. And uh, a ghost was seen by them all. Is that right? Of a nude Greek athlete <laughs> smeared in pig fat. Pig fat. <laughs> smeared in pig fat who picked up the discus and hurled it as mm -hmm. they would have done in ancient times, <laughs> who hurled the javelin, right. who ran around the circuit, <clears throat> who laid himself prone before everyone and disappeared. And this was seen by all. Did and it worry them, Roy? I think there was a lot of concern, <laughs> actually. <laughs> a lot of concern. It's not often you see that sort of madness, that outbreak of, uh, of madness. But it became known then as Supernatural Sunday, yeah. the People's Day, yeah. and uh, because the people saw him. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't seen by any of the press, just the people. <laughs> now, speaking of the people, actually, because it is, in a way, the People's Day, you may recall, or people may recall, who were with us last night yes. at the Ire and the problems that this crazy, cute little guy has caused, <laughs> uh, with the IOC stepping in yesterday and saying that the little guy, our favourite little fellow, the little man, mm. wasn't allowed to be seen with any uh, athletes at all. Mm. Now, this was brought up in a number of... Uh, ah, yes, yes. Well, well, it, the news is not all bad because uh, the Director-General, uh, this is on the administrative side of the IOC, that is Francois Carrard, uh, was asked at a press conference today what his attitude was, and it appears as if the IOC has softened. However, the AOC looks... Uh, it doesn't see... The attitude doesn't seem to be as generous as the IOC when it comes to our friendly little fellow, the people's mascot. There has been a mascot that some of the Australian swimmers have been carrying in called Fatso the Wombat, and there is a suggestion that perhaps the IOC has made some ruling to uh, ban Fatso. <laughs> I'm not aware of banning Fetzel. Given that there are official games mascots, um, is Fatso stealing the show? And does Sokok have any concern about that? No, they don't. We don't. I don't think he's stealing the show. I'd like to ask Michael Klim and, and Grant Hackett uh, what the appeal was of taking Fatso the Wombat onto the medals podium. And, and I'd like to ask you, Peter, uh, whether any instructions have gone out to the Australian team as a whole to, to keep Fatso off the podium. This is a matter, I think, I'd, which I'd prefer to answer rather than on the swimmers. It's a matter of some uh, commercial sensitivity at the, at the moment, and I would prefer not to answer the question. Roy, while you're showing that footage, I just ducked out and had a look out the back here across towards the main stadium. Yes. And a mysterious apparition has just appeared above, no. yes, above Stadium Australia in the shape of a ghostly presence of a fat-ass wombat. Oh, yes! It's back. The People's Day the is People's here. The People's Day is still here. Last night. <laughs> it just makes our... It just makes our... It laughs at our kangaroo, yeah. Yeah. doesn't it? It laughs at it. Whereas... Yes. This little guy... Yes, that's right. <laughs> oh, the little guy... Yeah. The people have taken to their hearts. Actually, and it's not only people in Australia. Fatso, the big-assed wombat, talks to people of the whole world. Yeah. The That's whole true. world see That's him as a, as a mascot that does celebrate humanity. Mm. The little mm. guy stands for all that's good and decent about the games. Mm. <laughs> it's about people against all hardship, overcoming hardship and pressing on with their lives. Mm. Sure, they mightn't get gold or silver or bronze every time, but they put in. <laughs> He's the battless prince. <laughs> Fat 
soul that flame wouldn't burn and life would not be the same and things would be so tame so who's the dude that poses new except in fall his running shoes they'll lose that and brown falls to the ground and bigger now than old dick pound when the fallen went and the money spent who will be i'll see president well i'll think you know <laughs> while they say he's gotta go it's bad so Ian, you're looking a little bit tired. Uh, you would have appreciated the uh, the team meeting at nine o'clock this morning. Yeah, the team meeting was great. We we're really we we're really psyched for it. It was great to get the team back together again and go through nothing. And <laughs> we didn't have the opportunity to sign everyone's shirts, so that was kind of a little bit of a novelty. And that was our incentive to go to the meeting this morning. And Misty, have you been back in the pool since the uh, the swims of last week? No, I haven't. I'm, uh, I'm going to stay out of the pool for a little while. I'm going to have some fun and enjoy myself. Here's a hammer throw, a warm program. Mm. I actually paid $7.95 for one of those... Yeah, thanks, thanks, Pete. Uh, at Target for my six-year-old grandson. I got it home and, uh, for 20 minutes, and after 20 minutes, one of the legs had been accidentally, in inverted commas, ripped off. <laughs> Can I, can I say, Pauline, you were bloody lucky. Roy ripped one off in three seconds. <laughs> so much for the stress factor. Love Fatso and a dearly... You know, I love to purchase him from a collection of other endangered species. Hey, if, you know, if you do this to him... He doesn't look bad! No, yeah, he, he looks, looks like Fatso! <laughs> That's Fatso! <laughs> number of gauntlets oh. lying around Homebush. Yeah. If you were to yeah. believe Dennis Cometti, everyone is throwing down the gauntlet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah. I did notice a fair few gauntlets being thrown down. Yeah. Roy, where have you got there? The, 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 there are some sick minds out there. Some really oh. weird people. And today, here at the Dream Dome, we got yeah. this horrible, horrible note that sent a chill through us all. It simply says, a dream pin or the wombat gets it. I hope you can see that. Better. A dream pin the wo or the wombat gets it. Roy, what have the police done in response to us receiving this well, rather I, cryptic uh... note? Yeah, well, look, uh, the, the management here at uh, the Olympic Games, and indeed Sobo, uh, have been in touch with Commissioner Peter Ryan uh, <laughs> because uh, our little man, the Battler's Prince... The Battler's Prince. <laughs> he's been stolen. Mm. <laughs> kidnapped, I think. Yeah. Or wombat-napped. Yeah, he's, he's been kidnapped. Uh, so we're, the police are doing all they can yes. and uh, we'll be keeping you abreast. Of, I mean, if we learn of something, uh, unlike NBC, you'll find out about it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yes, yeah. uh, we do have an identical uh, picture of Fatso HG. In case people uh, haven't seen him. In case people haven't seen him, that's him. That's uh, the best the police artist could do. <laughs> if anyone sees the, if anyone sees the Battler's Prince, uh, you know, in a bag, in a boot somewhere, that's yes. our little guy. And yes. uh, just just bring him home if you wouldn't mind, because he he lives here and we we all love him and we're, we're missing him. That's the um, most unusual thing you've seen. Seven network executives have praised the work of the New South Wales Police Force and Commissioner Peter Ryan in particular after the dramatic arrest tonight of a man, can you believe it, who attempted to kidnap Fatso, the big arse wombat. Oh, shame, shame. Oh. He's back. Oh. Have you been enjoying your games, Billie Jean? Well... You are the highlight of my games. Yes. You're my hero. Well, the I games have been you know. pretty ordinary. No, I do then, not. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I do not say that ever to anyone right. on any show. Right. Anyway, I come over here, and all I see is the tennis courts in the hotel, right? Right. So every night I turn on the telly, and it's yeah. what, I don't know. Why don't you see some of the other sports? You, you must know, be the joking, because I'm like... working. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, what? Yes, yeah, of course you're on here all the time. No, the NBC, does it get back? I mean, does anyone ever see it? <laughs> A little late. A little late. A little late, but they see it.
You never have anyone in the big fat events. Uh, why aren't we finding... <laughs> It's a cruel bloody message, well, but a serious one. No, no, he's thought about it. Why are we finding these big fat Aussie kiddies and training them up, fattening them up for all the big fat events, i.e. heavyweight <laughs> lifting and heavyweight boxing, wrestling and judo? From your coverage, I I've seen big fat girls and boys from other countries. Where are our big fat Aussies? I know we have them. I've seen them. <laughs> Olympians, we salute you. Eric, we love you. Eggs you gave us a show. <laughs> oh, Marius, we'll never forget you. Marlet, the loveliest <laughs> I've seen. Hello to Wang and all the boys from everyone at the dream. Fatso, we love you. That's all we love you so.